Welcome to another movie. This time I want to show you my new tool that I will use. Uh, so what this uh, what this is? It's a digital microscope with a LCD built in. So I already have a microscope like this one. Uh, of course, they are not fully professional microscope. I'm not a professional. Uh, uh, um, uh, how to say it, a, a repair shop or something like that uh, but I I did use always this one let me show you it's uh, a smaller version let me take it out like this uh, it's uh, working really well uh, you can see this uh, movie when I uh, uh, see pictures and a movie from this one when I uh, show the um, the tip from the 3D printer and when I repaired the, the LiPo charger I did use this uh, one and it's working fine but I need to connect it to the uh, PC and it's quite annoying so that's why I uh, doesn't like it too much so I buy this one I did have it in the wish list for almost a year because I really wanted to have this one uh, and uh, now I do have it. It's a HD HD uh, I know it's a uh, one uh, 1080p but I set it to 1760p uh, uh, because I don't think this one will uh, have so good resolution. There are many languages. There is also Polish, uh, so I may switch to Polish or just leave it in the English. It's not a big deal for me. Uh, HD high. <laughs> That's quite weird. <laughs> uh, high speed, portable, multi-purpose video, color, uh, colored small sensor HD. I have this version with the metal stand. I did not want it with any others because this one I can uh, add use the the height of the microscope. So I do have this one. Uh, what do we? Uh, it's like this. I have it here. It's three uh, four point three inches uh, HD LCD, uh, multifunctional gimbal. As I say you can add use the high HD three point six megapixel image sensor. Continuous magnifying super uh, super battery <laughs> working for six hours. I don't I don't think this will work for six hours. I don't know how big that battery is, but uh, we I did charge it because it was just discharged. Uh, and this one have uh, from one to six hundred magnifying. Let me take it out. You get of course a manual uh, like this. Some basic information. Uh, it's not uh, really it's not really important to, to read it uh, because it's uh, really uh, easy to, to use so that's uh, not so important uh, and here is the microscope itself there is a attachment so let me take everything out you get the uh, mini, uh, mini USB cable for charging uh, and parts of mounting bracket is that all? no there is not oh you get a charger oh that's quite nice i did not know and a heavy heavy duty uh, stand okay let's take this one out so let's see i did not uh, take it out so i don't know how and this thing uh, look of course you grab it by um, by the middle part so there are some parts for assembly this oh you get a hex key for it let's take it out okay give me a minute i will just assemble this Okay, so there it is. I see one of the legs is a little mounted wrong. You can uh, something is loose here. No, so you can uh, tie this down. You can rotate it to the sides if 
something that you want to film is uh, too big for the stand you can always rotate it in the other direction but it will uh, overweight to the front so uh, you have in here a, a SD card uh, slot on the side yes on the side so uh, sorry micro SD slot I don't know the orientation I think this one is like this let me test no it's the other side it's uh, some cheap old uh, uh, it's really really inside it it's a uh, 2 gigabytes uh, old uh, card it's uh, have like this uh, the Microsoft is held by these two screws uh, they have a rubber part on the other side okay so you can of, uh, of course power it uh, by this uh, charger but I don't uh, we don't need this I did charge it uh, so what do you have in here a USB uh, mini USB for charging a, a micro USB uh, slot this uh, dial is for controlling the lights on the bottom part uh, on the other side there is nothing there is also a mount probably for the other uh, stands but the metal one is always much better uh, as you may see the assembly is easy so it's uh, not, not a big deal ok let's turn it on holding the power button the light is on I like this uh, wallpaper on it so that's quite nice uh, so in uh, on this dial you have a focus as you can see now it's focusing on uh, this part I can also reduce the light I'm using my lamp so it doesn't need so big light uh, you have now uh, a camera so it's filming uh, with the 70, uh, 720p as I said uh, when hitting the mode button you have a uh, photo mode uh, for making pictures I set it to for 2 megapixels and uh, another click is for uh, the, uh, playing uh, or showing the pictures and another mode is back to the video uh, clicking the menu button uh, get you to the menu you have a resolution a resolution is set to 720p you, you have uh, 1080p 720p and uh, VGA so let me set 720 uh, data tag I turn it off I don't need it uh, by mode you can get back or just uh, hitting uh, maybe many is getting back motion detection is off I also doesn't need it uh, cycle recording I turn off uh, EV I have no idea what that is so I will leave it for now uh, and you have uh, another menu format card language settings uh, you have uh, let, I will try to show you like this of course I don't know Chinese any other languages but there are really many languages in here to choose um, uh, also some popular ones uh, let me get the English automatic uh, power off I have uh, off uh, screen savers also I have off it's hard to see because it's uh, focusing on this so I will let me get a manual maybe maybe this will allow us to see much better uh, reset system frequency I set to uh, 60 hertz uh, let's go on uh, time settings I did uh, set the time but it's still I get back so I'm not uh, uh, interested in, in this because I'm will, I will not use the timestamp uh, video rotating is off you can always uh, switch it to the side I don't know why but uh, there is uh, a function like this uh, fill light you can turn off uh, here the the light uh, uh, that is shining on the object but I will turn it on I can always adjust it and a version in here probably there is a, a, a possibility to update on the uh, USB but uh, I did not uh, check it because there is no 
a brand no maybe it is a branded but i don't think so there is a uh, any update for it and we are back okay so uh, let me get a uh, let take this out and let me get this is the circuit that uh, i uh, solder it's a a tiny uh, processor on a connected mount i use it uh, for some purpose and here it is okay so now i can uh, I need to set it higher so you can see the circuit maybe let's uh, show it like this it's upside down <laughs> and now i can set the focus i can set the light on the side let's put it a little more and here it is a tiny 85 Atmel, I can see anything in here. Maybe the soldering is not the perfect, but it is working fine. <laughs> so here it is. There is a uh, resistor on the bottom uh, side, soldered on both sides. This side is not the perfect, but this one is. It's perfectly soldered. <laughs> so let me. Uh, let me show you this. This is the uh, DAS Micro uh, sound unit. Uh, this one is burning something uh, burning here. Maybe we can uh, able to see it. And this is great tool. This thing is fine. Let me focus. The focusing is much better than that one. Also, the stand is much, much more better than uh, than on that one. Of course, it's angled. That's why it's not so easy to see. Uh, so I can see a Atmo Mega in here. Let me get the focus. Let's see if anything is burning here. This one is not probably something burning in here. But I don't see probably maybe this one, but doesn't seem to be burned. Uh, okay, so let me turn on the record. I think it's okay. Yes, it's recording now, uh, and you can now see how good this camera is. I can always. I'd use the light, set it to more, to, to less, and just show you all the circuit elements. It's a really great tool if you work with the electronic or some small design, something like that. This is a really useful tool. You can always, as you can see, read uh, some circuits or rotated circuits like this uh, and replace elements you can also solder under this one and see a resistors you can see the LED in here uh, another uh, a capacitor in here uh, some circuit capacitor 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 so you can always try to see if uh, let me focus now You can always check if everything is uh, fine, if any part is not damaged. I think this one doesn't look so good. Uh, no damage part. Uh, I will also get, a, I'm uh, waiting for a, a thermal camera. I will show that also uh, and we'll play uh, with that one uh, also. Okay, so let me turn it off. As you can see, it's a really great tool. The battery is still fully charged, so this one will uh, maybe last uh, so long. But it's great that there is a battery. But it's a really a good tool if you are working on something smaller. Uh, so I have both uh, microscopes. Of course, this one is much better, but 
uh, it's always depending on uh, what tools you need and what tools uh, will be better for you I have both but now I will just use this one because it is much more easy I can always take it out uh, maybe do a quick assembly uh, put it everywhere I have a screen when I can see everything I can record this I can make a pictures so for me it's a really great tool I uh, as I mentioned I did set some lower resolution because I don't think this one will have a HD camera with uh, 1080p uh, but 720p it's uh, always uh, better to set on machines like that uh, like this uh, and uh, probably that's all it's a really useful tool so I will put a link in the description so see you in the next movie